Hello everybody on YouTube and all the NHL lovers out there. And this is Andrew Warren back here once again giving you my first round of the Stanley Cup playoff predictions. Yes, Stanley Cup playoffs is finally here. Favorite time of the year for to be an NHL fan, which I am. I love hockey too. That's my second favorite sport besides football. And um hope you guys enjoy the March Madness too. Like you enjoyed my pickums. I did my pick'em lean to that. And congratulations to Mikey he called in his bracket, this is stupid who won my bracket on that. So congratulations to him. Wanted to give you my shout out to him for that. And before I make my picks, and we're finally into the Stanley Cup playoffs, as I said. And we're gonna go from there. We're gonna start up with the East, go to the West. So starting off with the um in the East Coast, we got the number one Montreal Canadiens versus number one uh, New York the wild card in the New York Rangers. I think this is going to be one of the toughest ones in the in the first round. I believe I think because New York is a Mike always gives them playoff contentions lately, especially during their run during 2013 or 14. I think it was so. Um, so this one this could go to a game seven series, but don't forget the Bar the um, Canadians got my form the my former Bruins head coach Claude Julian back in the line in the head coaching position, and he's in a better position than he was now when he was a Bruin. So. Got to believe for that. Unfortunately, maybe this could be coming, but I see this game going to seven games. But Montreal's gonna win it, so so I'll give you. A, I think Montreal's gonna win that one from there. And going into that game is number two Ottawa versus number three, my Boston Bruins. Yes, the Bruins are my Bruins are finally making the playoffs. I got my gear ready for the Bruins. Be watching that game. I think this is going to be the most exciting time and finally get to see the Bruins back in the playoffs. Finally, all we had to do this year was to fire Claude Julian. If we I got to be honest with you. If we didn't fire Cla Claude Julian, we would not be in the playoffs right now. Plain and simple. But anyways, I'm going to give you a big shocker to this one. I think my Bruins are going to win this series against Ottawa. And they're going to be facing Montreal in the next round. And I'll tell you this. This is going to be the Bruins sweeping Ottawa. Yup, you heard me correctly. The Bruins are going to sweep the Ottawa Senators. I hope that happens. I would love to beat Ottawa. I don't like Ottawa Senators. And I don't like the Montreal Canadiens either. I think all we had to do was to fire um, Claude Julien. I think we're going to have a little momentum going on in here. Maybe David Pasenak or maybe Sedano Chara. Well, Sedano Chara, well, he wants to come back for one more season. Maybe we'll see how this one goes. So, uh, but, but, I'm still rooting for my Bruins to win. I'm still rooting, but that's all I got to say on that. Anyways, next round. It's going to be the Washington Capitals, who are the number one in their division, versus the wildcard Toronto Maple Leafs. So, yeah, the Maple Leafs are in the playoffs on for the first time in a while, too. Which I think in the last time we went to the playoffs was when we beat them in that meltdown game. In Game 7, we, it was my Bruins going to the Stanley Cup Finals in 2013. Someone correct me on that one. I think I'm wrong. But anyways, for some reason, I think Washington... And Alex Ovechkin and the Capitals are finally going to get the break they need in this and beating the Maple Leafs because I think the Maple Leafs are going to have a meltdown again on their own. And I think the Capitals are going to beat the Ma uh, Maple Leafs, but it will be in seven games. I think Toronto will give the Washington Capitals a hard time, which I think they won the President's Trophy this year. So congratulations to Ottawa again winning, I mean, not Washington with the um, winning the President's Trophy back to back years. But I know I don't know I don't know how, how they're gonna look with this. But I'll tell you this much: I think Washington will finally get the momentum going. I'll give you a little hint. Who am I leaning towards in the Stanley Cup Finals? But you know, I think Washington will finally get the playoff momentum from Toronto. Toronto, we don't know yet. But anyways. Number two, Pittsburgh Penguins versus number three, um, Columbus Blue Jackets. Well, the the Blue Jackets were a surprise team in the NHL this year, which I was surprised. I didn't think the Blue Jackets would make the playoffs, but 
For some reason, they came red hot at the right time, and look with them they are now. They're number three in the standings, and where they are, and they're playing Pittsburgh. Hey, congrats, but they're facing a team who has Stanley Cup Finals and Stanley Cup Playoffs uh, pre- uh, uh, momentum before, playoff um, predictions before. They're used to it, I should say. But Sidney Crosby in there, of course, Sidney Crosby. We all hate Sidney Crosby, a little crybaby, which my heart is saying, I, my gut is telling me... Um, Pittsburgh to win, which I'm picking Pittsburgh, but it's going to be in four games, I think. But my heart is telling me go for Columbus, because nothing would please me more to see Sidney Crosby cry like a little girl. Don't get me wrong, I don't mind the Pittsburgh Penguins, but I just don't like Sidney Crosby. I think he's just a little crybaby to get the referees on their side. That's all. But, anyways... That's what I got in the second round. The Montreal Canadiens versus my Boston Bruins, which I'm hoping that happens because I want to kick the living crap out of the Montreal Canadiens so badly. I hate the Montreal Canadiens more than the New York Jets as a Patriots fan. Yeah. Yeah. And the Pittsburgh Penguins versus the Washington Capitals in the second round. So that's what I'm going to leave from that point. Next round, the... In the Western Division side, the Chicago Blackhawks versus the Wild Card on Nashua Predators. Okay, I'll give you this playoff experience too, like the Pittsburgh Penguins with the Columbus Blue Jackets versus a team who's been in the playoffs and just getting used choking around too. Well, not Columbus, but Nat Watt Nashua has always been in the playoffs and just losing. So I don't know, but in this case around, I think the the Chicago Blackhawks will win. I think it's going to be six games. I think they'll get a couple of wins for Nashville, for Nashville, so I'll give them a couple of wins, but I don't think it's going to be enough. Chicago's is too strong with um, Jonathan Tates and um, I forget who else. I mean, you know, they went to three, they won three cups, I believe. They won in 2010, 2013, I think 2015, I think, when they beat the New York Rangers or 14. No, no, 2015, I, I think, or something, like, or 2000, something like that. But, anyways, I think they're gonna have, they do have playoff perception before, but this is a different thing. That team coming around for Chicago, but I think they are gonna win the first round. But I don't know. We'll wait and see. In number two, Minnesota Wild versus the number three St. Louis Blues. Okay. I'll be first to admit, I would, did not expect to get the St. Louis Blues in the playoffs either. After they lose a few players, like, uh, what's his name? Who went to Washington? TJ Otso, Otsi, whatever his name was. I can't think of anyone's name right now. But, you know what? But after losing him, I think the Blues were done. But, unfortunately, that didn't happen for St. for St. Louis. I'm glad they made the playoffs. But, they don't have enough weapons to go against Minnesota. I think Minnesota is really a... Really a strong team, which I knew Minnesota would be like a playoff contention. So I'm gonna stick with uh, the with my guns with the Minnesota with being a playoff contention. With that, I'm gonna pick uh, Minnesota Minnesota um, Wild to move on against the Chicago Blackhawks in seven games. So yeah, I got so I got that. You know, Minnesota is just pretty good. So you know, I think they may may give Chicago a hard time in the second round, but I don't know. We'll wait and see how they go for it. But anyways, that in the in the um, western, like the West Coast division, like in the Southwest or whatever they call it, or whatever that is down there. I forget the name of the divisions. But anyways, number one, Anaheim Ducks, who just they succeeded five division Pacific playoffs in a row, uh, be uh, facing the uh, wild wild card, the Calgary Flames. Hey. Uh, two, three Canadian playoff teams in there. Last year, we didn't have any playoff Canadian playoff teams, so we'll give him that. But Anaheim, I think Anaheim is a team of destiny right now. But I'm going to say this. I think Anaheim is going to beat Calgary in five games. I think they're on a mission. And I think An- Anaheim's going to do something, do some damage in the playoffs. And I see Anaheim in five games. Oh, wait, I take it back. Four uh, Canadian teams in the playoffs. I take that back. But anyways... Is gonna in the next region, number two Edmonton Oilers versus the number three San Jose Sharks. 
Now the Sharks are looking back to rebound after what happened in the Stanley Cup playoffs from the year before against Pittsburgh. Now they're in a different position. And I think, personally, San Jose is going to repeat that feat, but I don't know if they're going to do it or not. But, you know, anyways, I think it's also going to be a six-game series. I think this is going to be a six game six series, I take that. And San Jose is going to beat the Edmonton Oilers in six games. And I think they're going to face the Anaheim Ducks in the second round of the Stanley Cup playoffs. And then you're having in the West Coast in the second round. I got Chicago versus Minnesota and Anaheim versus the, and then San Jose. So there you have it. So those are my Western things who I think we're going to make in the second round. I definitely will be back to do my um, second round picks. And we're going to go from there like I did last year. But I'm glad to see the Stanley Cup playoffs are back. I'm going to definitely be watching it. I've been watching the Bruins all year. And it's been a shame I didn't really go to a game this year. And been busy with work. Didn't really have time. But, you know, other than that, you know, I'm glad the Stanley Cup playoffs are back. So I'm going to go from that and go from there and see how that one goes. But anyways, I hope you enjoy this. And I'm going to see you guys all in the second round and see how we do from there. Oh, before I go, I almost forgot. Go join my break up, uh, Stanley Cup Playoff Bracket Challenge. I'll have that link down below in the subscription. And uh, you, you guys are welcome in. You got until Wednesday, I believe, and so in order to get it in. But I'll definitely have the link down below. You can join me on that. And I'll put it in the other links below. And if that doesn't suit you enough, but you know what? That's fine. I'll, you guys, everyone's welcome to come in, you know. If there's any problems, I'll let... I'll try to fix that right away, and I'll put in the little bubble thing down on the on the thing on YouTube. So I'll definitely put that up there. So, anyways, that will wrap it up. I'll definitely put other links down below. If you are NFL fans, you like the NFL YouTube prognosticators, I'll put it on over there, so you guys know over there. Or I'll just I, mean, I thought about putting a Facebook page of myself on there and to see how that one turns out. So, but anyways, that's another suggestion. I don't know what you guys think of that. So that's something I've been th thinking about. Re we up today my videos like they have my own Facebook page or something like that to support me or everything. But anyways, let me know what you're thinking on that too. I've been think thinking about that to change my things up before the NFL season comes around again. But anyways, that'll wrap up my um Stanley my first round of the Stanley Cup playoff predictions. This is Andrew Warren signing off, and good luck to all of you guys if you join my pick 'em league. So it's called Andrew W dot one. Just remember that Andrew W dot one. That's the name of my brackets. My number is 318377. So that might be my bla uh, my Stanley Cup playoff brackets. I'll put that subscription down below so you all can join. Until then, if you guys join, good luck to all of your picks. And I hope you guys enjoy well. And good luck. And peace out. Rock on.